Good morning and welcome to day 21. I'm currently packing my suitcase um, because we are going to be heading out in about 40 minutes, I believe. So it's like 9.30 in the morning right now. Um, I'm going to be putting my shampoos and all my curly hair stuff in this one. Even though we're not going for like a super long time, I like to bring it just in case I need to like rewash my hair. Um, cause I, I only washed it yesterday or no, did I wash it yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday is when I washed it. So I'm not sure if I'll have to wash it again or not. I'm wearing just a sweatshirt and leggings today. This sweater. Maybe I'll bring the turtleneck just in case I feel like it, which I probably won't. I like to have some options. And then maybe I'll bring my straight, my skinny jeans just in case those look better. But it also depends on like how much I eat, how big my belly is at the time. So I like to bring options. So I think I'll bring one sweater in case. And then we need some pajamas. Stay with this one. And we'll just do the shorts. Let's see what today's Nespresso is before we leave. Today's 21. Malazio. Hmm. Maybe I'll make this one. Oh, hey, Graham. This isn't yours. This isn't for you. This is mine. <laughs> you want to do your advent calendar? Yeah. All right. What was yesterday? 20? Yep. Hello, graham crackers or gingerbread men. Mm. Those are yummy. And 21 is a ball. Maybe not care about. Oh, this is a hard ball. Do you want another one? <laughs> Looking at my TBR cart to see, hi Graham, <laughs> uh, to see what books or book I want to take on my trip. So I definitely think I'm going to take Spilled Milk um, because this is, I mean, I guess the font is kind of tiny, but the book itself is also kind of tiny like 232 pages but this is um based on a true story and it's a book about child abuse i believe so i feel like that's a good safe bet to read but then i also think i want to bring one of the lucinda berry books that i have because that like she has been a safe bet for me to read also so i still have when she returned the best of friends and then her newest release the secrets of us gosh they all sound really good and i know a lot of people have wanted me to read when she returns so i think that's the one that i'll just take with me is this one i'm also bringing the graphic novel um for the ivf it's like an ivf graphic novel that i want to read because i might have to return that to the library soon um but that i'll probably be able to knock out like fairly shortly and then I'm also bringing a SIBO book that I have not read yet just because I want to figure out like what mood I'm in you know what reading mood I'm in when I'm driving so I pretty much brought like one of each thing
what's called Pennsylvania Dutch's version of chicken pot pie and it's one of my favorite things like he makes the dumplings homemade and stuff I always ask him to make it oh it looks so good it's like homemade broth these homemade dumplings and then we put like fresh parsley on top and it has potatoes it's almost like southern versions of like hello I'm in my old bedroom, not really. I mean, I, this is the bedroom that I would sleep in when I was like a teenager at my dad's house. But my stepmom has like crazy taste. Look at this monkey. Look at that. <laughs> you see that? Look at this. What? Look at this. <laughs> she has some really crazy taste. We got to my dad's around four o'clock. She read that whole SIBO book in the car, which actually was really good. I'm definitely gonna be able to like put some of the practices and everything together for when I start like actually being really strict about my diet and supplements and stuff like that. So that was a really good read. That's the only thing I read, but I did meal plan in the car as well for this upcoming week for like when we get back in a few days. We've just been like kind of talking and my stepmom like started a movie so we've been kind of watching the movie with them. My dad made that chicken pot pie which was amazing, it was so good. Alvin and I are actually going to be going to see the new Spider-Man movie very soon. We're going to be leaving at, I think it starts at 9 so we should be leaving pretty soon. It's 8.12 and my dad and my stepmom they go to bed pretty early like they usually get tired at around like eight o'clock or so. So they'll probably be going to bed around nine when we leave for the movie. So it shouldn't be, you know, like we're not spending as much time with them. And, oh, I forgot to bring my phone up here. I was gonna do one of the, the wish list giveaways because I didn't do one yesterday and I need to do one today as well, but I forgot my phone. So I'll just do it a little bit later, I guess. <laughs> show you all. That's about it. I'll see you tomorrow in another video.